Hi everyone, here is my shoulder workout for today. Once again, I'm going to try to spruce things up for my workout video um, because uh, I really low view duration and it just seems like um, people aren't giving craps about my workout videos, so I'm going to try to increase um, craps given. So I guess here we go. I added um, just uh, some stuff, so you just have to watch until the very end before you decide if you if you enjoyed it or not. <laughs> you won't know if you enjoy this unless you watch until the very end. Um, so something funny, something interesting I want to talk about. I had a crazy night, y'all. Well, I had a crazy dream, and it felt like the dream lasted all night, and it was just this ongoing dream where I kept thinking I was awake, and then I kept telling people about this dream. So basically, this is the situation, and this is like, this is weird. I feel giddy talking about it. I had a dream that Sam Sulek was at my gym. I thought that this really happened. Like in the dream, I thought, no, this is real. I thought that I was dreaming about other things, but kept sticking to the fact that it was real that I saw Sam Sulek at my gym. And the situation was that he was there with a tripod, presumably to film his workout, and that I passed him and didn't say anything and then took a, a double take and realized it was him and then was blocking the exit. And I was like, oh my God, I think I recognize that person. And then the people entering were like, oh yeah, that he's famous. And I was like, that's really him? And then I was freaking out because I didn't say anything. And I kept saying, this really happened. And I kept telling people. And then every time I kept, I guess, thinking that I had woken up during the night, I kept having dreams that I kept telling people that this had happened and that this was not a dream. And it just kept happening over and over again. It felt like it was just this like eight and a half hour, really, really deep sleep of the fact of the matter being that I saw Sam Sulek and I believed this had really happened and was very confused when I started to actually wake up for the day if this had really happened. So as I was very confused. I was like, did that happen? Did I see him in real life? Why would he be here? And that was a confusing thing while I was asleep thinking, why would he be here of all places? <laughs> I was like, why? Nobody's here. Even the Rolling Stones don't want to play here. <laughs> I was like, why would he be here? So what made me realize when I was kind of trying to start waking up, what made me realize <laughs> that he this didn't really happen was that I work out at home. I don't, <laughs> being at my gym, he wasn't in my home. And I was like, oh yeah, well, he wasn't in my gym. My gym is at home. Because in the dream, it was a commercial gym. And I was like, wait a minute, this wasn't real because I work out at home. <laughs> How silly is that? Anyways, and then I realized that maybe I'm kind of attracted to him, but I don't, I can never speak that ever because it's, um, it's gross because I'm old, like I'm old lady compared to him. And I can never say that because he's like, he's like a kid and I don't want to be in that, um, kind of like Hollywood, <laughs> you know, like Anthony Kiedis. Um, when I was younger, I used to think Anthony Kiedis was the bee's knees and, I just loved him and I fantasized about his triceps. I loved Anthony Kiedis' triceps um, before I even really started building my own. So, well, attempting to build my own. And now that I've grown up and that the people that he dates keep getting younger as he gets older, where he's like with like 20 year old um, women in their 20s, I think that's gross. I feel like, I don't know, Anthony Kiedis just screams like sleazebag to me. And I used to idolize him. I mean, some people it doesn't bothered me as much it doesn't feel as creepy but he's always kind of given off creep vibes so I don't want to be like that like Anthony Kiedis like eyeballing like this young bodybuilder kid that's um impressionable <laughs> so I can never tell well I was going to say I can never tell anybody but I just told anybody that watches this video I just thought that this dream was just just outrageous and I wanted to share it because of the fact that it just kind of lasted all night and it just seemed so silly. Um, but other than that, I ended up having a great workout, even though kind of the odds were against me this morning. It's a, 
some record low colds here um, in Alberta were all frosted over and they put out this big warning um, to turn off as many non-essential devices in your home as you can because the grid, um, there was concerns that the grid was just going to start rolling uh, power outages because of how cold it was and how much heat um, people had their heats up cranking. So they were worried that everybody was going to start, they wouldn't have enough, I guess, you know, power uh, energy power to keep everybody um, heated so they told us you know turn off your washer dryer turn off any um, non-essential lights um, turn off your computers all this kind of stuff so um, it, was, it was very big concern because that's just how insanely cold it's been over the past couple days and um, during the night at some point uh, my building lost heat so I had um, like my heating pad. I was sleeping with my heating pad, but I woke up and I thought, God damn, I'm, I am so cold, even with this heating pad. And then I realized like my whole place was freezing cold and I touched the pipes and they were all out. So, well, there was no um, heat coming from anything and I was just really, really cold. So I put on my space heater and just kind of hung around my space heater, getting ready for my workout. Um, but that's not the best way because then you kind of start it cold. I guess to explain is that I live in an apartment and my gym is a block away in my mom's basement. So if you wonder why there's all this plant shit, it's not because that's me. <laughs> um, so I drive. I still had to go and leave my house and then drive a block to go to my mom's. So it was really hard to kind of get going just because I never got to be warm before I had to be freezing cold out um, to get in my car and that kind of thing. So the odds were against me for this to be um, a mentally strong workout, but I actually, I had fun. I enjoyed it. Um, and I kept chuckling about my dream. So please subscribe and please uh, watch till the last second. Okay, bye.